The Volvo Car Group now starts the production of the first engine alternatives of the new highly efficient Volvo engine architecture, VEA, four-cylinder engine family. The strategy to concentrate on four-cylinder petrol and diesel engines together with electric power is the path that Volvo Cars has chosen for the future. I definitely see this as, as an historical moment for Volvo because when we decided to start the development of the VEA, we also made a very, very important strategic decision to go for four-cylinder turbo engines only and combine it with electrification. Here in Fuevde, they have built a new hyper modern factory section of 4,500 square meters and it is here that all the engine alternatives will be produced on one and the same production line, thus providing extremely efficient production. This is the single largest investment that we have since the start of this factory. Approximately 200 million euros is the total investment in this project, where the, one of the biggest investments is the factory that we are standing in, where it ranges from 30 to 40 million euros. All continued development and production of VEA will take place within the Volvo Car Group and is an important part of the company's independency strategy. Having total control of the development and production of engines and transmissions in combination with fewer engine alternatives increases flexibility and the ability to influence quality. The biggest challenge have been to, uh, to have an architecture that all engines can easily be installed in different cars with the same uh, uh, components. To meet the marketplace, we haven't delivered fuel economy, advanced levels of emissions, but at the same time we need to develop engines that deliver performance, refinement for the customer. And a way to do that is to go downsizing, downspeeding, as many others in the world are doing. And Volvo have a unique chance to do that now as we become more and more independent. During 2013, Volvo estimates producing almost 20,000 engines, and by the end of the year, production volume should be close to 2,000 engines per week. The first engine alternatives will be launched during the autumn.